This is the story of Narash Kumar. There once was a Muslim man named Mushir Ali. He lived in a town called Kekori, which is in Uttar Pradesh, India. His family was Sunni Muslims, and Haider Ali, his father, went around praying for people. In return, some people gave him money. Mushir sold fruits and vegetables. He was the main money maker in the family. In 1980, he rented a horse cart to transport mangoes to the market. However, Mushir's horse cart crashed with a tractor. This is how Mushir died. Less than a year later, a boy named Narash Kumar was born in the village of Basbagar, which is in Uttar Pradesh, India. His father's name was Guru Prasad, and his mother's name was Bishwana. They believed in Hinduism. Narash began to speak when he was one years old. Surprisingly, he said the word Kakori, which is the town that Mushir lived in. And he said the word Karkara, which means horse cart. When Narash was two years old, he prayed like a Muslim, even though his family was Hindu. But when he noticed family members watching him pray, he stopped praying. Narish tied a rope to the end of his baby bed, and he pretended to ride a horse cart. Furthermore, he spoke a few words in Urdu, but no one in his family knew the Urdu language, and no one taught him the language. Xenoglossy is when a person knows a language that they didn't learn in their lifetime. Some researchers believe xenoglossy is strong evidence of reincarnation. At four years old, Naresh told his family how he died in his past life. He said that he was transporting mangoes on his horse cart, but the cart crashed with the vehicle and he became fatally injured. Naresh also told people in his village this story. When Haider Ali, the father of Mushir, walked around and prayed with people, little Naresh followed him, and he called him Abba, which means father. Naresh told Haider that he wanted to live with him. Naresh kept telling his family to take him to Kakori. Bishwana, Naresh's mother, went to Hader Ali and told him about Naresh. Hader told Bishwana to take Naresh to the grave of a Muslim saint so that he would stop talking about reincarnation. Mind you, most Muslims don't believe in reincarnation. They are against the idea of reincarnation. Guru Prasad, Narash's father, decided to take his son to Kakori. They went with a group of friends. Narash led the group to the house of Mushir Ali and Haider Ali. When they got in the house, Narash knew which hat belonged to Mushir Ali, and he knew what was inside of Mushir Ali's suitcase. Moreover, he knew the names of some of Mushir's family and friends, and he knew things about Mushir Ali's bank account. Additionally, he knew the name of the person who owed money to Mushir Ali. What's more, the location of Mushir's fatal injury matches the location of Naresh's birth defect. When Mushir's horse cart collided with the tractor, Mushir injured the right side of his ribs. This is how he died. Similarly, Naresh was born with a birth defect on the right side of his ribs. His ribs appeared pushed down in that area. At the University of Virginia, researchers found that 35% of the children who remember their past lives have birthmarks and or birth defects in in the same locations as past life injuries. In the end, Haider Ali and his family accepted Naresh as the reincarnation of their deceased son Mushir Ali, despite the fact that Haider made a living by praying to people in the Islamic tradition. If you like spirituality, science, art, or animals, then be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell.